Sepatutnya dalam press conference ini Sidang Anwar Ibrahim dan Saudari Azizah hadir Tapi mereka kirim salam dan minta maaf banyak, -banyak Dan yang keadaan tidak membenarkan Sudah Anwar datang Dan Saudara Azizah pun ada tugas-tugas yang lain yang harus dilakukannya Dalam keadaan yang berubah ini um, saya ingin menyentuh sedikit tentang tentang tuduhan-tuduhan yang telah dibuat terhadap ini seolah-olah cerita lama yang dibangunkan usaha untuk mengait dan menggunakan sebenarnya dan memang ini suatu cara yang digunakan untuk membunuh membunuh politik saudara Anwar bahkan kami sendiri dan saya sendiri mendapat maklumat bahawa usaha menjalankan pembunuhan ini bukan semata-mata pembunuhan politik bukan saya itu assassinating politically tetapi kalau boleh untuk membunuh beliau physically to kill him physically dan oleh kerana itu, kita membuat persiapan-persiapan untuk memastikan keselamatan beliau terjaga. Jadi, apakah sebabnya? Apakah sebabnya mereka nak membunuh secara fizikal dan politikal dari Anwar? Why is it yes, so, so keen to kill Anwar politically and, and physically? Sebabnya, ada dua sebab besar. Satu ialah kerana ketakutan, ketakutan pemerintah sekarang sekiranya berlaku perubahan politik dan pertandingan negeri ini the great fear that they will change of education government in the country there is so much a stake for them and they will have to stop at all cost to change dan itulah yang mereka tak lakukan eh? jadi ada kepentingan dan interest dan kepentingan yang besar terutama sekali di kalangan kepentingan dan kalangan pemerintah sekarang supaya tidak berubah tidak berlaku perubahan perkara keduanya perkara keduanya ialah bahawa ada saudara Anwar mempunyai dokumen yang jelas dokumen yang jelas, bukti yang jelas bahawa dalam perbicaraan dia dulu perbicaraan dia dulu pada tahun daripada tahun 1998 dua orang besar negara ini iaitu IGP dan AG two important officers of this country the, the, the AG and the IGP manipulated manipulated evidence okay, fabricated evidence against Anwar these are documentary proofs that are with him He had this uh, documentary proof more than two weeks ago. He mempunyai ayat-ayat uh, bukti ini lebih daripada dua minggu lalu. Tetapi dia tidak mahu mengumumkannya kerana tidak mahu mengkaburi banyak masalah yang sedang dia ada di sekarang. Uh, he knew this documentary was done two weeks ago, but he wouldn't disclose them in view of the so many things that has been happening and it doesn't want to water down the effect of those things. Now, sekarang, oleh kerana ada percubaan terhadap beliau, selepas, selepas press conference ini, beberapa orang pemimpin uh, penipati akan pergi membuat uh, uh, ya, uh, apa ini, lepas tak tentu lagi pukul berapa kan, tapi selepas habis seperti itu. Uh, di sini pemimpin parti akan pergi buat laporan uh, polis terhadap tindakan-tindakan yang dilakukan oleh dua pengusaha tadi untuk fabricate dan uh, yang fabricate ini dia apa dalam dalam dua It's more than SMS message. No, no, bullet is not. You want, you want to send a bullet as 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 that serious, you know? 
we have the, uh, I don't think we will disclose to you the nature and the source of the, of, uh, the threat. But it is a real threat. Well, uh, well, he, there is fear for his safety. And we want him to be in a safe place. And he is... He's in a safe place. We, uh, well, we think he's in a safe place now. Will he remain in the country, or is he leaving the country? There is no decision on that. One, one thing is that whatever Anwar does, he doesn't do it on his own volition. He consults, he consults the leadership, and whatever decision is made, is made by the leadership together with him. So whether he stays in this country or goes overseas, won't be his own personal decision, the party decision. That threat against him is real. That threat, that threat is real. That, that threat is, has, has been there for, you know, for the past one week. So, well, in fact, since, you know, since uh, uh, the government especially became convinced that he might have the number for a change of government. And especially again after uh, the AG and uh, and, and, uh, and the IGP have been, you know, publicated in certain documented proof show that they have uh, abdicated uh, the uh, Has any foreign government offered to, uh, to help the <coughs> Well, personally, I don't know whether it is that. I think there will be many, many foreign governments who would like to have them because his contact with, uh, with uh, foreign governments and foreign leaders okay. is very good. Has any foreign government contacted him? Well, I don't know. You may tell me, you know. There was these uh, rumors going around that Anwar is like this city uh, asylum from a certain embassy. Can you well, comment on that? Rumors, you say? Yes. Well, sometimes rumors are true, but in this case, I don't think it's true. So, Anwar, uh, Dr. Anwar is not at the foreign embassy, right? Well, I really don't know. Doctor, if the death threat was known within these past few weeks, why is it now uh, Kira chose to announce it after an allegation of sodomy has been launched? Why not earlier? Because it's such a major thing. Come on, somebody's going to try and kill Anua. Wouldn't you let the public know so that you can have some proof? No, but that, that in itself will break fear. Fear among our, among our followers mm -hmm. and fear even among, our, among those people who, who want to come to us. So we, are, you know, we, we have to weigh the positive and negative aspects and uh, we didn't want to create, you know, it won't be just here among us, but it will create a sort of instability within society in the country and we don't want that to happen. Well, by announcing it now, wouldn't that also strike fear that society might be disappeared? Uh, well, because, because what is being done now by government is enough to create the uh, uh, disability. The other side, is the party in touch with the police yet? Uh, the police was here uh, until this morning, right? In the hotel. So they were in touch with us. <laughs> Prof, uh, what is the message Anwar gave to party members about it following this new round of allegations of civil uh, Because speaking to, to members outside, your members are uh, angry at uh, this new allegation that has taken and is still anymore. And this rumor about him being arrested is in the streets. You know, is there any message to come back from? Well, certainly we don't want to do, to do things unlawfully and uh, to, to go beyond and beyond, uh, uh, beyond things that we will create. We, we, uh, well, we don't want it to cause any any uh, instability. Because we want uh, peace and order to be maintained. Because the government would want to see certain so that they can crack down, crack down upon the position, especially on the heart, and uh, to probably proclaim all kinds of, you know, of, 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 of acts of law, you know, which can conscribe the freedom. Abdullah, in this press conference, he said that the government is not behind this new round of sex litigation. Uh, well, if, if he's not around, if he's not behind it, who is? Is he saying now it's the AG and the IGP? Uh, Doctor, uh, sekarang ni orang nak tengok ada uh, Datuk Sianua beri uh, penjelasan sedikit dalam soal ni. Kenapa dia tidak berada di sini? Dari segi keselamatan dia, 
kita nasihatkan dia dengan istri pergi ke tempat yang selamat dan dia dibawa ke tempat yang selamat tak keselamatan segi apa? saya rasa tidak jadi biasanya Datuk Sri boleh berada tak di mana-mana tak apa sekali kita tak nak dia pergi ya, tidak diselamatkan oleh polis ni kita tak tidak mahu dia tidak diselamatkan oleh polis ni tahu pun tidak diselamatkan si polis tak supposed to keep apa tu order security and all that the trouble is that you know under present circumstances they seem to be acting otherwise Well, you ask, you ask on the man the street, you know, you ask any hawker, you ask any, uh, ask them whether they can trust the police.